We don't right. buy it. You, when you buy it, then we pay them for their product. I see. So basically, all the vendors, whoever's here, like LG, Sony, whoever, they have to donate their stuff to Fry's, and then nothing being donated. But they on loan or whatever the case might be, it's on consignment, and then somebody buys it, then you guys send the then money. Then we turn around and we pay them for the product. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah, it just sucks because I remember how Fry's used to be. Yep. But unfortunately, we can't afford to fill up the store. You see how many customers are in here. Yeah. Yeah, it just stinks because this used to be my, one of my go-to places. Mm -hmm. But, all right, the whole thing is changed around. We'll turn around. What is going on, everyone? This is Keo Dyken, and I have some brand new updated news regarding Fry's Electronics. Now, we were all wondering, how is Fry's able to stay alive and exist in today's times? I mean, the stores are hurting, the parking lots are empty, and they have a very short list of inventory right now. And so I spoke to a manager today, and it turns out currently Fry's is operating under a consignment deal. For those of you who may not know what consignment means, it means that companies are pretty much leaving their merchandise at the store. It's not a donation, but they leave it there and Fry's is reimbursing them or taking a cut or percentage off of what actually sells and then giving them the profits or the companies like LG or Samsung the profits off of those sales. So yeah, that really makes sense because we were trying to figure out how are they able to buy all this inventory and stay afloat. And it really starts to make me wonder if they're going to open this up to the public because I've put things on consignment at hobby stores and, you know, you leave it there, you put your name and phone number on it. And then, of course, once it actually sells, the company then reimburses you or pays you out of those proceeds. So hope you enjoyed the store walk around today. I did get that confirmation from one of the store managers. Haven't seen much information updated about fries, but yes, they have now turned into one of the largest consignment shops around. Hope you enjoy the video. Later. So we're back at Fry's and I honestly didn't think that I would be back down here after my last videos. You can see the parking lot here is really empty. So let's go in here, check it out. Let's see what's going on with this place. I just happened to be in the area and wanted to see what's going on here because I know Best Buy's is really lacking on tech products right now. And so hopefully Fry's has improved. Let's take a look. Okay, I've only been in here two hot seconds and I can tell you they've made some drastic changes. In fact, I don't even see their shelves, which normally sit up about maybe eight or 10 feet. They've gotten rid of those completely. This looks a little different. Yeah, their back wall back there is really empty, but I don't know how this company is surviving. Jesus, they just totally did away with this whole section. So all of this used to be their computer counter where they would ring you up for computer stuff. This, there used to be a big shelf right here that had nothing but hard drives on it. Like this entire wall, you see this? That used to be nothing but hard drives on it. Uh, and then of course on the other side used to be desktops and motherboards all along this wall so all that's gone they still have their tech support department okay i mean it's honestly not too too bad but you could definitely tell there's been some changes here Yeah, this section used to be stocked with nothing but LED lights. All the other computer components used to be here in this section. 
man. And then on this side of the wall, this used to be nothing but SD cards and everything else. And there used to be this little walking space here where they would have a bunch of computers and stuff here. If I have some old photos, I know I have some old photos and old videos. Maybe I'll post those just to do a comparison, but everything has changed. Let's see this. I remember this is where I got some of my first PC fans for my last computer. All this used to be fans, PC fans, the whole section. Arrow cool, you name it. Yeah, all right. Let's see what we got here. And then of course over here used to be PC cables and breadboards so you can work on your own projects. Now they got their pepper spray. I'm not gonna walk down there. And then back there used to be the entire computer section. So I'm gonna skip some of this. In fact, and then over here, before I get over there, this used to be all home security camera systems. And as you can see, there's nothing. Yeah, all this used to be home security cameras. This used to be the gaming section here with PlayStation. Actually, no, PlayStation and Xbox is over there. So it looks like that section is all blocked off now. But we'll get over there. Oh man, this is disgusting. So obviously I know they did have to make a bunch of changes because of COVID, but all of this right here used to be nothing but LCD monitors of every size for gaming. And then of course they had all the computers on display here laptops desktops everything everything back there was some type of lcd monitor everything's just boxed up now and then of course here in this section they had a, a, a number of computer displays I, I i think the reason why i think this is drastic personally for me is because you know best buy they haven't made any changes like this so i can't really blame COVID for a lot of it but yeah, this is where they had a lot of gaming PCs here, high-end stuff. So I'll go through some of my old photos and videos, because I used to take or do like little short clips. Never really thought I would use them for anything, but man, let's see what we got here. Yeah, this used to be in another section, so they're doing some little remodeling. And... I still think some of their prices they have here are competitive to, to what some of the other stores are offering for the same thing. Really haven't had a chance to take a look at them, but it doesn't look too bad. Man, it just sucks looking at this. Because this used to be one of my go-to spots. I mean, thank God there's a micro center locally, but. All right, let's take a look and see if we can find the Xbox or the PlayStation section. Got all your cables here.
Yeah, all these, all these shelves used to be up here. I mean, you couldn't look straight over, so. I guess that's some of their new planning. And over there was a little restaurant where you could sit down and eat, and order something. Yeah, so this was not here. So this was the height. So obviously they took those shelves from the other departments and moved them over here. So these are the shelves where the SD cards, motherboards, and everything else used to be on. So they cut the store off. Yeah, see that used to be the Xbox and PlayStation section there. Hey, where are your video games? All right, thanks. So they just moved everything, okay. Just cut down the store. And all of this used to be like your little hobbies, like your little drones and toys and other sections here. And then most of this would be your music and car audio. And then this section, which I think they have it blocked off now. This used to be uh, where you had your speakers, your home theater speakers, and they had an actual home theater say, uh, system in here where you could go in here and sit down and watch a movie. Okay, it looks like they got that blocked off. Probably turn into an office. Whatever. Okay. What else we got here? Oh, here we have the Neo Geo arcade stick. $89.99. I'm not sure what the regular price is on that, but they got a slew of them, so at least they are getting some new product here. RC cars, you got the little toy ones here, so they moved that all down here. And here's some more toys. Yeah, this is one of the cool things about this store is that they had the Godzilla display. So the last time I did a walkthrough of this store was, I don't know, you guys would have to check my Fry's video. I don't remember the date, but I do believe it was in 2019. I'm not seeing anything. And so all of this used to be home theater and TVs, LG, Samsung, you name it. So, none of that anymore. They have their TVs in the middle of the store right now. Just, just literally placed in the middle. So let's see here. So yeah, this used to be their TV section, as you can see. So they've blocked all that off. And Now, if they ever do close up, I wouldn't mind having some of these models because they've definitely put in the work for those. Those are pretty cool. <sighs> and office supply stuff. I used to just love coming in here checking to see what they had. I mean, they always had something nice and cool and something you could tinker with, maybe something for the home office or just something you wouldn't really think about having, like a juice maker or icy or a slush machine. Hey, excuse me, where are your ex-
Because one of the cool things about Fry's is that they did know how to decorate this store and make it entertaining, but hopefully they improve. All right, peace guys, later.